All right, we're looking for campsite number 53 here. Wait a minute, that looks like that's it right there on the right. Wait, it's full of vehicles and tents. That's my spot. This whole campground is half empty in there in my spot. What the f Hello friends, this week's adventure takes us to the Buena Vista Campground in the Buena Vista Aquatic Recreation Area in Kern County, California. This was only about a 30 mile drive from our home base in Bakersfield, California. This was not our original destination though. Our original plan was to visit some of the giant sequoia up in the Sequoia National Forest, but things happened and it didn't work out. So we were scrambling at the last moment to find some place locally with availability. And this is what we came up with. Our original spot, which we had reserved just the night before, uh, still had people in it. And so when we went back to the uh, campground host, they said they would gladly ask those people to move. But as you saw in the pictures, they had... Uh, tents and uh, it looked like it was going to be a while before they were ready to leave so I said just give me someplace else and they sent us to this location which was actually probably a better choice than what we were originally going to get right on the water with a beautiful view of the sunset site number 45 Once we got everything leveled and ready to go, we set up Starlink, hooked up to the full hookups that were available. Water sewer, 30 amp and 50 amp was available. Then we broke out the Blackstone to cook some dinner. Hello folks, here we are at the Buena Vista aquatic recreation area. Now, <clears throat> having been born and raised about 50 miles from this place, I assumed that this place was called Buena Vista Lake. That was completely incorrect. It is the Buena Vista aquatic recreation area. Uh, a Kern County Park, they have day use and camping. And there are two separate lakes in the area that have names that are not Buena Vista. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember them offhand. I Hopefully I will put that down below here. Um, but this is a, a pretty decent area. I'll move the camera around. You can see we've got a nice little sunset going on here. We are right on the water. wasn't planning to uh, to camp here at this lake. I actually had other plans. Uh, the plans were to go to Sequoia National Forest and uh, check out some big giant sequoias, but for some reason it just didn't work out. So at the very last minute, literally like the night before, I'm searching the internet trying to find some place to check out. And this is what popped out, popped up. Um, I, I wasn't opposed to coming here originally, but it really wasn't on my bucket list. And to be quite honest, it, it still isn't. It's not a bad place, but it's just not the kind of place I normally would come to. Now, if you are into water sports and you have a boat or you have a, a jet ski, this is the place to come camping because as you can see, our campground 
is right on the water and you can actually dock your watercraft right here. You're actually allowed to dock right here next to your campground. You're not supposed to swim in the area, however, almost every campsite I've seen seems to be filled with people swimming, so um, I did pick a really bad time to come here. Um, this is early August and it is easily over 100 degrees and for those of you who may have watched any of my other videos before you would know that I'm not really into full hookups I like I like dry camping I like state parks and national parks uh, I would not come here in a million years without full hookups it's hot and I'm glad I've got my full hookups here because I've been cranking the AC from the second I got here until the second I leave. In fact, I'm probably going to leave. I was going to stay here two two days. I think I'm going to leave a day early. This place is not horrible. It's just it's just not my thing. You know, it's for somebody who wants to bring a huge group of people with tents and play in the water all day. And I'm more about peaceful, you know, mountain or coastal campgrounds that are relaxing. I don't think this is quite the place, although I think I'm filming this at about 7 o'clock in the evening, and it's actually not that bad. However, we are midweek um, from some of the videos I've seen. It seems like this place is really booming on the weekend. I would not come here on the weekend unless the boat thing is, is what you're coming for. Um, full hookups, pretty reasonable we're looking at forty dollars a night and i think it's just like five or ten bucks less for non-full hookups they do have a dump station on site for those of you who do not get the full hookup sites which is nice i guess but if you're coming here in the summertime don't even bother unless you get full hookups or you have some way to crank that ac all day and all night because it is nasty here. I'll, uh, I think tomorrow I'll ride the bike around, show you some of the sights, check out the bathroom, maybe get into a little bit of history of the park. But uh, for now, as you can see, this is my, my spot right here. Not bad. It took me a little bit longer to set up than normal because it was so freaking hot. I had to go in and cool down and grab some water about every 10 minutes. Will I be back? Probably not. Um, I promised myself if I was to get into a little bit better physical shape, maybe I will get a kayak and I guess this wouldn't be a bad place to launch the kayak. So Buena Vista Aquatic Recreation Area. Kern County, California. So, since we're not staying a second night, we might as well go ahead and cook that ribeye for breakfast. After breakfast, let's do what we always do on Trailer Trash Adventures videos. Let's check out the bathroom. Well, I didn't expect much more as a county park. I did go very early in the morning, so I guess whoever was at task with the cleanup hadn't quite got there yet. Uh, but again, it's a county park. Really, at least I don't really expect much more than what you see here. I don't know what's in the urinal there. Urinal there. I'm afraid to look. So, no showers, but at least they are flush toilets and not pit toilets. I don't know. Share your thoughts. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below what you think about these bathrooms. So, as we head out, what are our thoughts for this campground? Well, it's just a big meh. Um, if you're into the uh, water sports thing, 
this might be a fantastic opportunity for you. But as far as you know, my style of campground, it's not really my thing. But you know what? I was in a pretty shitty mood this weekend, so um, it's hard for me to get excited about it. Um, it wasn't bad when I come back. In certain situations, if I had a friend that wanted me to meet him there or if, if I got that kayak and wanted to jump in the water, this might be an option for me. But uh, otherwise, eh, it's all right. Um, please, if, if you love this place, let me know in the comments why. I'm sure there's a ton of people that love this place. Anyways, thanks for checking out our videos. I really appreciate it. Um, please like and subscribe. Please comment. Let us know what you think about these videos and let us know anything specific about this campground that maybe we left out. Uh, as always, stay safe and have a fantastic day.